Lavinia Fontana was born into an artistic and middle-class family in Bologna in 1552. Her talent and promise as an artist was recognized early in her childhood, for while Lavinia had numerous brothers, her father Prospero, himself a successful artist in Bolognese society, understood that among his children it was Lavinia who had inherited his skills as an artist. In an age of structured gender roles, Prospero went against cultural norms and trained Lavinia as a painter in his own workshop and educated her as if she were a noblewoman. Within this unique environment, Lavinia's talent flourished and she was offered a rare privilege for an artist and especially a woman entry into the prestigious Academia di San Luca. In 1577, she married fellow artist Gian Paolo Zappi, with whom she would have 11 children. Her early skills as an artist can be seen in her painting, Self-Portrait at the Spinet, accompanied by a handmaiden. This work was created in 1577 to commemorate her engagement to Zappi. It demonstrates not only her physical beauty, but through symbols such as the musical instrument, her chastity and intellect are reflected as well. Her direct gaze is evidence of both her confidence as an artist and her fulfilling her role as a woman. After their marriage, the couple returned to live and work with Lavinia's father. However, it soon became clear that she was the more talented artist and Zappi became both her assistant and agent, as well as taking on the domestic duties of the household allowing Lavinia time to work on her art. Ciao Gian Paolo! Come sta? Ciao Pasta! Bene, bene? Ah, bene, bene. Supper will be ready soon. We're just finishing and Lavinia's finishing up with the model. My apologies for being late. All the children are outside doing whatever children do these days. Throwing rocks, probably. But probably. You certainly have plenty of mouths to feed. Well, as of late, Lavinia's commissions have been feeding all of our mouths, thankfully. See, see, and she has a new one. She's working with a model now? Indeed, she's still doing the portraits, but uh, as of late, she started working with the nudes. Well, ah, quite the talk of the town. I've heard rumors. It's very unusual for a woman. Well, you know, this isn't the first time. Remember when she was accepted in the academy? Ah, yes, yes. She is good, that woman of ours. If there's one thing she's better at than making babies, it's painting. <laughs> Lavinia Fontana's painting techniques, influenced first by her father and later by Correggio and the Caracci's, reflects her manner of style through her use of color, composition, and form. Her early paintings reflect her role as a woman and a painter in Bologna. Her subjects were often women in the stages of a woman's life cycle, such as marriage and childbirth, as well as family and individual portraiture, and many of her paintings are commissioned by the wealthy women of Bologna. An example of these commissions is the portrait of the Gozzadini family, seen here, commissioned by a Bolognese noblewoman, Lodomia Gozzadini, in 1584, to memorialize her dead father and sister, as well as establish herself as the rightful heir of the family. The family is harmoniously displayed, and they are depicted in elaborately decorated and jeweled clothing to reflect their social wealth, prominence, and moral propriety. As her renown as an artist grew, Lavinia received more significant commissions and began painting large-scale altarpieces. She also became one of the first women to receive papal contracts and worked as a portraitist in the Vatican court of Pope Paul V. Lavinia Fontana painted not only portraits in religious scenes, but further evolved stylistically and began painting mythological scenes towards the end of her career. She was the first female artist to paint nude figures and was one of the first female artists to train apprentices. Lavinia Fontana died in Rome in 1614. Through her unique education, talent, and artistic development, Lavinia Fontana was able to redefine perceptions of female artists and the potential of a woman's success and greatness in Renaissance culture. Fine.